Political interest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the things which is very important, which is a, a great obstacle in one's spiritual life, it is called patriotism. Patriotism is identical with I am this body, I am this body. Then Prabhupada comes come says, You are not this body, you are not this body. What? What? What is he saying? I am this body, I'm from Peru, I'm from Poland, I'm from Germany, I'm from Russia, I'm from Hungary, like this. Everybody, patriotism is the perfect way of fooling people. First of all, you say, hey, you, are, you have to be patriotic for your country. And the next thing they say, hey, somebody is attacking our country. Let's go and kill those guys. Huh? Come on, let's go and kill them. Here, you take the knife, you take the gun, you take the club, you take the poison, you do. Now let's go and get these guys. Yeah, yeah, okay, Mr. General. And if you don't do it, we kill you. <laughs> what a nasty thing is this stupid patriotism. I mean, there is a definite naturally defense of one's physical needs. But the physical needs have always been defended by our spiritual teachers in the form of Mother Nature, in the form of, of our tradition, our fathers, our teachers, everything, we have always been defended because it's the nature of those who, who have power to, or to, those who have responsibility to protect those who are under their care. So patriotism, now patriotism is also there in a, actually I don't know the etymological origin of the name Patrio, Patrio, mm -hmm. what? Fatherland. This means uh, mother's, your, where you are born, your yeah, yeah. Uh, fatherland. mother's place. Yeah. Yeah, it's from <laughs> Pat, father, Pat, father. Pat, fatherland, yeah, it's probably. So, so patriotism uh, uh, can be applied to Mother Earth, no? Why should it be applied only to one region and to one clan? because then it becomes immediately a cause of problem for the others. So, practically, in order to put the people one against each other, the politicians and the people, they have used patriotism. And you know, we, we, we went to two world wars. This planet went to two world wars, people killing each other by the millions. By the millions, you know. <coughs> By the millions they killed. They were killed in this in this first world war, then the second world war. And the wars have not stopped. Again and again there's this war and that war and uh, unfortunate things, you know, everywhere. So-called, you create, you create a, a, an enemy picture and then you get the people fired up to do something, to, to vent their aggressions, to vent their frustrations against this enemy picture. So this is something, you know, those people who, like for example, in the time of Hitler or Mussolini, what did they do? They made armies of the frustrated people who had no money. So it's very easy, they have no money, they are frustrated, now let, let's, let's get them into some 
violence against others. So it's it's very uh, it's a pattern, you could say. The whole world of illusion is very much of a pattern, and uh, patriotism or racial hate racial hate or the hate against another religious minority this is all these things they come in so handy like you know what they did uh, with the with the Jewish people there was a there was a history a time in history where the Jewish they had some money and the 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 people in Europe they thought well we can just declare them enemies of the state or maybe witches or something so that's what practically the the holy inquisition was nothing more but a program to steal from the rich but from the rich jews so whenever somebody was accused to be an enemy or to be something then they had the right to confiscate all his goods all his all his properties so <laughs> there was a good, uh, there was a uh, good excuse for stealing people's property. So in this way, we can find out that in this world, all the relationship or the negative relationships between one and the other is really uh, concocted on wrong ideas, and patriotism is the wrong idea. We are all brothers and sisters. That's the right idea. And uh, to give unnecessary pain to others means pain is coming back to me. If anybody of those people who give trouble to others, like the, the soldiers and all these people, if any one of them would really realize that all the trouble I'm giving here to others, it's going to come back on me just equally, you know, then who would do it honestly speaking who would who would do a criminal activity if he knows for sure that this is going to be uh, happening to him just the exact way he's perpetrating the privacy and the security of another person hmm? no there would be no criminals if they believe in karma there would be no wars if people understand that this is just what's happening. Like, would you kill a mother's son in front of her eyes, knowing that you will be killed in the front of your mother's eyes? Impossible. So therefore, the, the saying was, don't do to others what you don't want them to do to you. That should be a, a basic understanding. Don't do to others what you don't want them to you do to you. So there are values, there are messages, but we are influenced. So therefore, I say it again, watching television makes you an idiot. It makes you somebody who's like depending on this media for information which is wrong, enjoyment which is wrong, values which are wrong everything which you get from television is wrong just like who's right the VJP is right or Congress is right or the communists are right none of them are right but they do some things which are necessary because every government does many things which are necessary so but those who are in the political parties they just want their benefit from this political party from the power they're holding and that's it and many of their concepts are completely wrong. Many. And then if the government is dictatorship, then they want to impose on everybody, just like in the case of the fascists. My goodness, you know, they imposed on the people to, to even think of them all day. Like, say, salutation in the name of a political leader, no? What they say? Hail the king. Huh? That was the British saying, long live the queen, uh, saying like that. Imagine a poor Indian guy who had nothing to do with a stupid woman from England, an absolute stupid exploiter and invader of India, 
but uh, they would say, God save the queen. They had to do that while the British were in charge, no? That was the official, no? And then Hitler, he copied the same thing, he says. Everybody has to say, Heil Hitler, huh? Which means the same. Heil means be he safe, be he... It's, it's like the same idea as God save the queen. Hmm? So everybody wants to put, impose himself on others like this. It's a very, very strange world, you know. And if we don't learn our lesson, well, then we're going to stay in this world of illusion. We're just going to stay here. It's just going to continue. <coughs> whole world is going to continue in illusion. 